hello everyone today i'm gonna give you a perfect resume which can help you to find a new job or your dream job so now as you see this is looking so simple but trust me it has so much amazing feature which can help you to get a very good job so now in this resume which has already the left side and the right side in the left side you has your name your designation email and the phone number and it's a very important thing about the linkedin when you're searching for a new job if anyone click on that linkedin text it will take to your particularly connected account and also the similar way it will work for the github so so that you can showcase your all the work then also if you have your own uh like uh, website or something you can also showcase it over here so it's all are interconnected it's same like working as a live portfolio then we have the summary so now i am a developer maybe you can be an accountant or others in any kind of field or area you can put that over here just i'm gonna share that portion so you can uh, change the text and you can write it your own text because uh, this is the figma we used to create so i'm gonna share it at the end so don't worry about it then i have that feature projects what kind of projects i have been done so the key project the good one the most beloved one you can highlight so now i have one project called amazon clone I give a little bit description what kind of uh, things it has then giving the key feature so now it can be single line feature to elaborate what kind of very important things it has then also the duration so that can uh, your employer can uh, define what kind of capabilities you have by showcasing your project by the time you consume to do it so now also it's not like just saying them i did it but showing them what i did okay that's the very important thing like you sh tell you, you just written so many things that you wrote so many things that you did you did you did but there is no proof in that letter but with this kind of resume you have the proof you are not just telling them i did but you are showing them what you have been done so now also i put that github link is connected with that particular repository then i have that cyber security blog and the similar way little bit description and now here is little bit creativity you can create you can either go with a single line description or you can elaborate the possibilities what kind of things you actually combine accordingly so it's your choice you can follow with the single line or you can follow with the dual line is depend on you then also the duration and the live projects which employer can see and view and also i emphasize at the end because as a developer your github accounts carry your identity right all the projects can be alongside with there so i'm telling my employer here you can see what i accomplished and what i did you can go through my code bases you can see the structure how i code so it's just a hidden sign that employer can find and can track how you are then in the right side i have image so now you need to have a very professional image when you are putting in the resume so don't forget to keep it a very professional and neat look then i have one of the very important one which is work experience so that that's why i keep it at the just at the bottom of the image so it can be highlighted in the work very work experience is better to give tool don't make too much experience so may employer may not be look at it so i keep it only two which is in the freelancer or just it's, it's a fake so you can put your own experience which you has then one of the very important things is skills and tools according to your profession you need to put that now for the software engineer i i'm working with different languages javascript react js also also for the backend node.js xpace.js and other languages which i has i keep it simple so you can interact with it then also there is the technologies i use and then the tools and softwares i'm using it's like i am related with i am capable with to tell it's like by just seeing that vs code it just i am very good at vs code and i have that capabilities the employer can catch it very easily and the bottom i have that education and certification so after showing above all he will look that from where i got that qualification so you can highlight your qualification and always put the current one at the top then go backward the back here right so this is just a compact resume to 
uh let you find a better job trust me i got my one by creating with the similar pattern so you can create also so maybe it's a very much diligent to in focus on that way and create similar this pattern so what what i have been done for you people i uh, i already created this resume using the figma so if you are already in the developer field you have been known about figma and to particularly initialize this one if you want to just work with that you need to go to that figma.com then you can just sign in with uh, your own account if you have a google account you can sign it with the google account then you can because what i will do it i will share that all over the things so that you also i'll give you that edit permission then i will share the link in the description below so you can get on that link you can copy it or what i recommend just whenever you open that one just click on it it will show you one uh, similar pattern which can you can save it in your uh, local uh, project so that uh, you can either do customize it here or you can just save a copy in your local machine so now what kind of things how you can customize and by the way when you are coming on over here you will see there is one tab in the left side called layout when you just open that layout you see all the line is over here because the gap and other things is so accurate and i'm maintaining that with that layout so you can go through and just look forward with customizing that layout if you want to put some, some more gap or some more padding it depends on you you can put it and try not to change the font because i'm using the Arial font family which is the most company recommend for the resume and also the about that dot button and other things remove if you want to you just ex try to change the text as much as possible but don't remove every other things because it can give you a good mark on your on your crawling uh, your resume in the website okay so try to keep it simple and now you can change your name as you see this all are compact with that the profile view and also the project view is separately arranged so you can uh, go through it very easily and it's very simple and for to link like i have that link then link over here you, you once you hover on that or in the github once you hover on that you see you just need to go through the edits portion and now you can just paste your own link okay that's enough you just paste your own link hit enter and then it will work just fine the next time you click on it it will open your own link okay that's very simple just go hover over here go over there and just add it then just cut whatever we have over here and then paste your own website link or if you don't have website you can just remove that you can just delete that one as you want it's deleting just click delete it's pretty simple so and there is the color plate i used because you need to follow a pattern of color so don't forget to follow that one if you want to change the color change the color inside accordingly and it, it depends on your test how you want that resume to look right so change it and also change all the dependencies accordingly the way you want and now here is the good thing if you are drawing the cv with uh, uh with canva or some other things downloading is pretty hectic but if you already familiar with figma then you know already but from my, from my side it's a game changer like you can download it in a very different way right so now in figma once you come in the over here in the design and in the bottom part you have that one portion called export once you click in the export you gonna have a, okay we need to select that one first we'll select that resume yeah 101 so now you can have there is four option you can download with a png jpg spg or pdf but resume always you better download it with pdf so select the pdf then just click on the export resume the name which will be shown and then first of all let me close that one because it's a similar name then i will save it it will override the previous one and now as you see this is my cv is downloaded so now you can download as much as you want and if you change everything properly you can send this cv to your employer by email or you can post it in any online platform trust me it will work for you and if you just customize it properly and by the way you can also change the design pattern little bit 
the way you want it to be look further you can add some more topic then uh highlight the padding and other things and also you can uh, drag it to make it bigger or make it wider it will the, the inside component will not affect with that that's the uh, this, this the way i arranged that one so it will not affect in any kind of proportional design portion so you can easily customize okay so what i'm gonna do in the link on the description i'm gonna give you the permission of edit i'm gonna share that link with you and then i'm gonna copy that link and then i'm gonna give in the description show so once you just go with that link you're gonna have that entire portfolio uh, entire resume your own and then you can use it in your uh, uh, website so now as you see i am viewing it like you now i can open it if if i if you have the app you can also get with the app or you can uh use in the in that way so now as you see this is the pretty much everything it will be like that so what i recommend you try that one give it a try and try to create in a unique way so that it can help you to find a better job okay wish you all the best i hope it can help you to get your dream job and we'll see you in the next video